Hi, my name is Joe Brewer, and I want to share with you another book that I've read that is helpful for anyone trying to create large-scale social change by looking at the patterns of culture. And this book is called War and Peace and War, The Rise and Fall of Empires by Peter Turchin. Peter Turchin is a population ecologist, so he's trained in biology, and he studies the patterns of history using mathematical models. And what he does in this book is he explores the way that empires have risen and fallen over time, and the way that the internal cohesion of social groups enable large-scale collective action. So this is a book about the mathematical patterns of history, kind of a complexity science of uh, the history of civilizations. And I found it to be extremely useful for me because I want to understand how different groups of people can come together, form shared social identities, and then start to uh, work uh, together in collaborative ways against other human groups to achieve large goals. And so this book looks at such factors as the uh, the way that inequality can arise within a social group and how that inequality can lead to the breakdown of cooperation. And then there can be things like noble elites can start to battle against each other while the poor are marginalized. That might sound familiar to what's happening in the world today. So this kind of a dynamic pattern where a group of people come together and form an increasingly complex civilization, then have internal dynamics of cohesion and coherence, as well as tension and conflict. And the patterns that arise between those different drivers are what enable civilizations to rise and ultimately cause them to collapse. So what Peter Turchin does in this book that I think is really, really helpful for change strategists today is he offers a framework for understanding how the competition between different groups, specifically the frontier region at the edge of empires, where there are bands of, of tribal groups that end up in battles and conflict with the empire, how that can create internal cohesion within the empire that enables it to re remain strong. So we might think of this in terms of uh, uh, the current context, looking at things like the uh, the rise of the Tea Party in the United States and how it is a small but very internally cohesive group. And as it engages in ideological battle for the kind of the territory of the mind for politics in the United States, how the the liberal or the progressive groups that compete with the Tea Party ideology can actually create a, a type of frontier boundary effect that helps to strengthen the internal cohesion of that group. So this is how the Roman Empire was able to rise and persist for a thousand years. This is how various empires in Eastern Europe and in uh, South America were able to rise and remain coherent at boundaries with other human tribal communities. And it's also how uh, political tribes and economic tribes today can form empires of great sophistication. So, so what we really need to do is understand how those patterns arise. And this is a book that'll help you understand how that works. So I think that if you want to understand the large scale patterns of civilization and how to create group cohesion to achieve collective goals, then you'll want to read this book. So that's it. Um, War and Peace and War by Peter Turchin. Enjoy.